Hello developers, welcome back to the programming fields. I am Umesh Rana and today I am back with the another featured video in LiveWire 3 playlist. In the last video, we implemented the form validation in LiveWire 3 using Laravel and LiveWire approach. Also, we dug deeper in LiveWire form object in which we understood how we can keep our validation rules and customized error messages separately from the component class to keep our component code cleaner and more organized. In the today's video, we will continue with the form submission and data insertion into the database table. Also, we will implement the real-time form validation and we will check if a particular value already exists in the database. And this will happen in the real time with the help of LiveWire 3. And last but not least, we will use LiveWire session flash message to display the success or error message after submitting the form. So without taking much time, let's quickly jump into the practical part. So in the previous video, we saw how we can validate our form using Laravel and LiveWire 3 as well. We used different approach to validate our form. Firstly, we saw how we can validate our form in the traditional Laravel approach. And secondly, we saw how we can validate our form in the LiveWire using LiveWire validate attribute. And also we used LiveWire form object in order to keep our validation rule and messages separately from the component class. So this is our contact form component in which we are rendering our contact form view. And here we have imported this contact form request and if we'll come to this contact form request inside this this contact form request is extending to the live wire form here we have retained the validation rule for every inputs based on the form and we have customized the error messages as well so in the terms of validation we saw when we are submitting the form these validation rules are triggering but live wire provides one more feature to validate the form in the real time so if we'll come to the official documentation and if we'll scroll down inside this validation, you will have the real time validation. So LiveWire provides real time validation. That means your validation rules will be triggered when you will start typing something and based on your validation rule that will trigger the validation error messages. So for this LiveWire uses wire model directive with dot live attribute and dot blur attribute. So basically these are the events so in the data binding we already used this dot live and dot blur event so the difference between dot live and dot blur is dot live will be triggered on every key strike when you will start typing and dot blur will be triggered when you stop typing and you focused out from that particular input to the different one or you can say when you clicked outside all right so we can use any of these in order to validate our form in the real time so let's implement this let's come to the editor and inside this contact form blade let's add the real time validation so i want to apply wire model dot live for every inputs so i will just select this wire colon model directive i will press ctrl d all right and we will have to exclude the drop down radio button and the checkbox because that won't come under the dot live event because the live event will be working with the text box only so we have the text field as name email phone number and message so let's change for these only dot live all right regarding the nationality we have the drop down and uh, for the gender we have the radio button and for the newsletter we have the checkbox so this will be applied only for the input field or text area this is done let's save it let's come to the browser let's refresh the application okay now let's start typing something we can see on dot live when you start typing it triggered the validation rule as name must be three characters long okay yes so on three characters it has stopped the validation rule and if i will type more than 50 characters then it triggered the another validation error same thing for the email all right also for the phone number and for the message as well so for these all input fields this triggered the validation errors in the real time so we already saw dot live will be triggering ajax call on every key type that means on every single strike of the key but in the case if we don't want to check on the every single key strike then we can use dot blur event 
all right so let's check with the dot blur let me just copy and replace it here yes let's refresh so on the blur event when i will type it won't trigger the validation error because it has not performed the ajax call at but when i will just focus out from the current input to the different input or anywhere this triggered the ajax call and our validation rule has been triggered so if we'll inspect it and if we'll just open the network tab inside this network request let's check when i typed it has not triggered the ajax call but when i will click outside to move out the focus yes this triggered the ajax call all right so by using this way you can validate your form in the real time so now let's fill up the form again similarly we can check if this email is already taken in the database and for the same phone number as well and in that case we will have to insert the data into the database first so while submitting the form this will check from the database whether this email and phone number is already taken yes we are receiving the submitted form data so now after this step we will have to insert the form data into the database so in order to execute this we will have to create a model and migration in the laravel so let's come to the terminal and here let's create a model as php artisan make call and model and we will have to provide the model name so i will provide the model name as contact and thereafter i will pass the hyphen m flag for the migration let's hit enter yes this created model and migration let's come to the editor let's scroll to the database migrations we have the newly created migration here now inside this let's define the schema as per our form so we have the form field as name and this can accept max 50 characters and this will be nullable by default let's add it for other fields next we have email phone number message nationality gender and newsletter for the email i will set to 150 regarding the phone number i will set to 20 characters message can be 255 max nationality will be 20 gender is 10 and regarding this newsletter i will set to boolean so this will accept true and false and by default i will set to false all right now respective to this schema i will have to add the flavor property in the model so let's come to the contact model and inside this let's define protected fillable array and inside this array let's add the field as per our migration so we have name email phone number message nationality gender and the newsletter all right this is done now let's come to the terminal and let's migrate this schema we will type php artisan migrate the schema has been dumped inside the database now if we'll come to the database and here we have the database.sqlite file let's click on this contacts table we have the field as name email phone number message nationality gender and newsletter all right this is done now let's come to the contact form class and inside this save contact form because from this contact form we have bound this wire submit function as save contact form so whenever we will submit this form this will trigger this save contact form and here we are validating our form before submitting it so here dollar this form is our form instance that we have included for validating our form all right so as of now i was displaying this dump and die and this form data so instead of this here we will insert data into the contact form table so for that firstly let's import the contact model so i will write use app models contact model okay and after validating this form we will have to insert this data so i will use contact colon colon create function inside this create function either we can pass this array data or we can pass directly dollar this form all so it totally depends on the 
form input fields so if you have the same name as per the form input in the contact form table then you can simply pass dollar this form all this is similar to laravel request all but in case your form name and the table column does not match then you will have to form another array in order to map the form data before saving it to the database table so in our case currently we have the same input name as we have added in the migration and in the fillable property as well so i can prefer this one let's come into this dump and die as of now and here i will capture response in a variable as dollar contact and after inserting this value into the contact table i will add dump and die dollar contact let's save let's come to the browser let's refresh once let's try to submit our form by filling up say this is a test message select nationality gender and let's click on submit yes on submit we can see this returned the inserted record object from this contact table and if we'll verify in the database inside this database.sqlite we have one entry inside this contact table all right so this is working properly now after inserting this data i want to display the flash message to the form so that we will be able to know our record is inserted into the database so let's come to the official documentation of livewire and inside this forms if we'll click on the forms after submitting it we can set a flash message just like we set in the laravel so this is similar to laravel session flash in laravel we just write return back with success all right so similarly in livewire we can write this as well so let's come to the editor and uh, here i will check if we have contact inserted then i will write session flash as success and uh, i will add a success message as contact submitted successfully all right else i will add error as unable to save contact please try again this is done we can remove these all things because these are not required now so let's keep it clean yes we have a cleaned form now so let's come to the browser let's refresh and let's try to fill up the form again and here before submitting this form i want to set the validation for the email if that is already inserted in the database as of now this is not triggering so it will insert the duplicate email and phone number in the database so for this let's update the validation rules inside this contact form request and for the email we have added only two validation rule as required and email so let's duplicate this and add it for unique and this will check from the contacts table and email field all right let's update the message accordingly as this email is already taken this is fine similarly we can add it for phone number as well so i will add unique and this will check from the contacts and phone number field because we have added the field as phone number let's update the message accordingly this phone number is already taken all right this is fine and this will trigger this validation rule in the real time because we have added the wire model dot blur attribute here let's come to the browser let's refresh let's try to submit the form again and when i will focus out we can see this triggered the message as this email is already taken same thing if we'll check for the phone number yes this triggered the message and we have the typo mistake here okay we can update to the email address is already taken and respective to this session flash we will have to capture this flash message in the form itself so let's come to the form and here we can display our session message so here we can use bootstrap alert component so let's add a condition if session has success all right that means if session success is there then we will add our div class alert alert success all right and inside this i will capture the session message as session success similarly if we will have error message then for that i will add else if session 
error and let's add same alert with danger class and let's change this to error yes this is done let's come to the browser let's refresh now let's check our validation first we can say this triggered the email is already taken same thing for phone number let's change this something else all right let's add some message select the nationality and gender let's click on submit now yes we can see we received success message as contact submitted and the record is inserted into the database but our form is not cleared now so we will have to reset the form after submitting it so for this livewire provides another predefined function to reset the form inputs so if we'll come to the official documentation again and if we'll scroll down we have the resetting form fields so after submitting the form we will have to call the reset function so let's come to the editor let's come to the component class and here after inserting we will have to reset the form fields so in our case we have a separate form request as we defined and we have that instance as dollar form so we will have to use dollar this form reset all right in the case if you have defined all the input fields in the same class or else if you have defined this save functionality in the same request then this will work with dollar this reset function but in the case if you have the separate form request and your function is defined in the component class then you will have to reset the input using that form instance let's save it let's come to the browser let's refresh let's try to fill up the form again so i will register with the the different name let's change this email as all right message nationality and newsletter let's click on submit now yes we can see our form has been reset now that's all folks we are at the end of this video and we have successfully submitted form data into the database using live wire without refreshing the page and also we implemented the real-time form validation which make form validation and handling super easy using live wire 3 i hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you are now more confident in using live wire 3 for your projects so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed this channel yet please subscribe and share it with your fellow developers also if you have any questions or suggestions for the future videos you can drop that in the comment section so thanks for watching and see you in the next video until then happy coding